On Saturday, September 9th, from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m., Weston Nurseries is hosting their first annual Blooms, Brews, and Barbecue. The event will take place right at Weston Nurseries, and the proceeds are being used to benefit the Jimmy Fund Walk. On September 9th, we'll be hosting our first annual, inaugural, whatever you want to call it, um, Blooms, Brews, and Barbecue event. So it's on Sunday, September 9th from 11 to 7. Uh, it's a fundraiser for the Jimmy Fun Walk. We have a Jimmy Fun Walk team which walks the Jimmy Fun Walk on September 24th, which is two Sundays after this event. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to host this event to raise more money for that, plus recruit more walkers. If people want to walk, they can walk three miles, five miles, 13 miles, or the whole darn thing, which is 26.2 from Hopkinton to Boston. <laughs> it's a long walk, but it's a fun walk. <laughs> so far we have 14 and we want to get up to 25 so we have a few more people we know we're going to sign up but we're still looking to recruit walkers. The event has uh, five breweries. Uh, you've got Startline, Wormtown, Jack's Abbey, Jack's uh, Abbey. Barrel House Z, and Brick and Feather which are all excellent micro craft brews here in Massachusetts. Yeah and then the barbecue uh, offerings will be uh, the smokehouse. We got BT Smokehouse. Um, we have the Smoke Shop Barbecue, which is, I believe, out of Cambridge. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have Meat at Slim's, which is Steve Eastman's team. And then we're going to have our own Snappy Dogs doing a special as well. Right. They'll have some special pork flavored hot dogs <laughs> or something will. like that. But it's a barbecue, <laughs> so you're going to have just you know pulled pork, pork sandwiches. I'm sure there's going to be macaroni and cheese and pork. Everything oh, good. Oh, yeah. That's all a la carte. There's a $10 admission to get in. All the net proceeds go to the Jimmy Fund. We don't make a dime, so we want to get as many people here as possible. Uh, the proceeds help out, but also the uh, beer tickets help yep. out too to help offset our costs. We're going to have a stage set up behind us here with four or five bands throughout the day, each playing for about an hour and a half. Yep. And um, we have parking, we just found out, for over 300 people, so we have plenty of... <laughs> Plenty of spots plenty of, for everybody. Plenty of space for friends in the community, which will be really great for us. Yeah. Wonderful. And uh, I understand you've been doing the Jimmy Fun Walk for uh, quite a while now. Can you talk about your history with the uh, Jimmy Fun Walk and what got you involved in doing this walk? Well, everybody knows somebody who has struggled with cancer, uh, patients who've needed help, families that have needed help along the way. And the Jimmy Fund is such a well-run organization. This walk is their second biggest fundraiser next to the Pan Mass Challenge. Uh, last year they raised over nine million dollars and just about all of it goes to help uh, the patients or contributes to research. So we've always felt it was a good thing. My wife's done it for about 15 years, I've done it for about 10. My muscles have memory now, they know how to do it. I can walk to Boston and not be as <laughs> sore anymore, but it is, it's, it's a task to walk that far. So all the walkers have to raise a minimum of $300. That's part of the deal for signing up. Um, but typically we can see our walkers raise a lot more than that. It all contributes to the great cause. There will be local bands, great food, as well as a number of beers and ciders available to try. Admission for the event is $10 at the gate and an additional $5 to sample the available beers and ciders. Oh, kids are welcome, of course. Under 12 gets in free and we welcome well-behaved pets as well. People have asked about that right, too. Right. So. If you're 21 and older, um, you will get a wristband and we'll make, sure, you're 21. we'll make sure you're 21 and it's all going to be carefully monitored so that nobody gets out of control. But we want people to have a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have police detail uh, to help park the cars and we'll have our own staff here with probably orange vests on to direct mm -hmm. uh, people on where, on where to park. So we hope to make it real easy to get you in and out of here. All right. And lastly, if someone did want to get involved with the uh, Jimmy Fun Walker participate, how would they go about doing so? Uh, so on our website, we have on our events page, Annie? Mm -hmm. On our events page. There's a couple of links throughout our website. If you go to our About section, there is a link that says the Jimmy Fund, and from there you can join our team, you can donate directly to our team, and you can find out more about joining our team. As a walker. As a walker, yep. So all, all of it links to our, our walk team homepage, mm -hmm. and that's where you would sign up. All ages are welcome to the event, and in addition to the beer samples, there will also be non-alcoholic beverages available. So the other thing I want to mention, Tom, is the Live for Evan 5K road race is from, it starts at 9 o'clock that morning and our event starts at 11. So we're hoping to tie in to the Live for Evan event as a sponsor. We are a sponsor. 
to be kind of the after race sponsor. We hope people will come down from that event to this one and uh, we'll have water here, we'll have non-alcoholic refreshments as well. They'll need that after the, after the run. Yeah. Uh, but to come down and enjoy themselves for the rest of the day for a good cause. All right, um, so could you talk about how much you've uh, raised so far? And I understand you have a uh, goal for this year as well to get that amount up. Yep, we've, uh, over the last six years, actually we were just presented a, one of those big checks from the Jimmy Fund for I think $64,500. That's what we've raised over the last six years with our walk team. Uh, we want to see that come up to 90000 this year um, by raising 25000 additional this year. Until this year, we didn't have a big event like this to promote mm -hmm. uh, the fact that we walk it and promote people joining the walk team and contributing. So that's the purpose of this event, is to get a lot more people involved. For additional information, you can head over to hcam.tv as well as westonnurseries.com.